Throughout his formative years, Mr. Neil R. Stoll initially exhibited an interest in obtaining a Doctor of Philosophy in European History and instructing students at the collegiate level. Initially enrolling at Pennsylvania State University in 1970, Mr. Stoll consulted the advice of his academic advisor, Robert Green, concerning his professional ambitions as he neared the conclusion of his undergraduate pursuits. After losing his father at the age of 12, Mr. Green was the closest influential figure Mr. Stoll had, and he greatly respected the man's guidance. After a lengthy conversation, Mr. Stoll's counselor helped him realize that the road to becoming a tenured professor was arduous as well as competitive. While deliberating on potential career alternatives, his supervisor suggested that he cultivate a future in litigation, as this undertaking could potentially open doors into the education and finance industries. After earning his Bachelor of Arts in History, Mr. Stoll went on to earn his Juris Doctor from Fordham University in 1973. Over the next 12 years, he began accruing legal permissions at the state and national levels. In 1974, Mr. Stoll had been admitted to practice law by the New York State Bar Association, the United States Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit, and the United States District Court for the Eastern and Southern Districts of New York. By 1986, Mr. Stoll had started presenting cases before the Supreme Court of the United States. Mr. Stoll initiated his professional endeavors as an associate with Skadden, Arps, Slate, Meager, and Flom LLP from 1973 to 1981. After years of garnering expertise and displaying considerable proficiency under his title, he secured a promotion as a partner with this firm from 1981 to 2017. During this time, Mr. Stoll additionally served as a lecturer under the jurisdiction of the nonprofit organization known as the Practicing Law Institute for nearly 20 years. He has since entered into a well-deserved retirement. Outside of the courtroom, Mr. Stoll has lent his knowledge of legal proceedings by penning numerous articles in a number of notable journals. Likewise, he co-authored Acquisitions under the Hart Scott Rodino Antitrust Improvements Act and routinely wrote for the New York Law Journal's Antitrust and Trade Regulation column from 1981 to 2013. Throughout his tenure, Mr. Stoll retained several invaluable lessons which he hopes to pass on to forthcoming law students aspiring to enter his field. One such piece of advice is the importance of remaining steadfast and decisive while consulting clients, the dangers of hesitation and its potential to undermine a solidified defense are unaffordable luxuries for ambitious counselors. Mr. Stoll also suggests treating each case with persistence, passion and giving undivided attention to all advisees in order to achieve the highest level of success. Additionally, he adheres to the philosophy that despite personal defeats, the achievements of a team are attributable to everyone involved. Regarding his own mentors, Mr. Stoll ascribes many of his accomplishments to the direction of Stephen Axon. While in Pennsylvania, the two labored tirelessly to rectify a large dispute over a 14-month period, a window Mr. Stoll considers an apprenticeship. He would closely observe how Mr. Axon interacted with his clientele and approached seemingly insurmountable obstacles. He also learned about antitrust laws from Mr. Axon, a specialized area which was greatly lacking within the Pennsylvania legal system.
Mr. Stoll previously sat on the Trade Regulation Committee for the Association of the Bar of the City of New York and maintains his membership with the American Bar Association. Owing to his efforts, Pennsylvania State University honored him with the Liberal Arts Graduate Achievement Award in 2001. Likewise, he was nominated for the Woodrow Wilson Scholarship through his alma mater's Department of History in 1969. Mr. Stoll also achieved credit for his dedication and tenacity with a top New York Lawyer Award. At his leisure, Mr. Stoll preserves and expands an impressive fountain pen and vintage wristwatch collection. Moreover, he enjoys spending quality time with his wife, Linda, and his daughters, Meredith and Alexis. As a testament to his legacy, Mr. Stoll has been honored with the Albert Nelson Marquis Lifetime Achievement Award, a Who's Who Top Professional Recognition, and is featured in past editions of Who's Who in Finance and Business, Who's Who in Finance and Industry, Who's Who in American Law, Who's Who in America, Who's Who in the East, and Who's Who in the World.